Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, as you see, my face is fully pretty much done. <laughs> I didn't do a lot. I just did a basic little look and um, I actually plan on filming this for you guys. But today I thought I would go through um, a list of my current favorites since it's been a bit since I've been on here and I definitely have a problem. <laughs> I have so much stuff sitting here that I want to talk about and it's it's insane. So buckle up. <laughs> You're in for a ride. Um, first thing I want to mention is a brand that's actually, it's at Sephora and it's uh, newly to Ulta as well. It's called The Ordinary. And um, I have some of their products, like I have a vitamin C. This is the alpha lipoic, lipoic acid. Uh, it's to help brighten and target signs of age. I have another one that helps with um, skin texture and brightening and then uh, dull skin. This is the, the blood facial one. It's the uh, alpha hydroxy, beta hydroxy peel. Um, that one I have been really enjoying because I'm still dealing with melasma after having all three of my children. Uh, and two other ones that are for brightening are by Ule Hendrickson. It's the Glow Tuo, as you can see, I use it a lot. Uh, dark spot toner and then the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This one is a great light, weight, good smelling moisturizer um two other products that i've been digging lately is the proteiny polypeptide cream by drunk elephant this is part of the sephora birthday gift uh, you also get a jelly cleanser as well i love this one it's like almost like a matte finish but it is i've noticed how great my texture has been since using this so i definitely recommend this and i've been using it for about a month because my birthday was a month ago um, and this one I have yet to bite to buy the full size because it's like $100. But I do have a few of the $100 point perks from Sephora. It's the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. And I've been using it on the lines in my forehead and my WTF line between my eyes. Uh, and I do notice a difference when I use it. And I also notice a difference when I forget. Okay, so makeup. Where do you want to start? Base? <laughs> um, I have two new bases that I've been using for primer. One is the Farsali Skin Tune Blur. Blur. Uh, I love this. I bought the trial of both of these because I wasn't 100% sure how I would like them. The full size one of the Farsali is currently sitting in my Sephora shopping list or shopping bag, as well as the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This one is almost like um, a layer of glue to put on your face because it's real tacky. Like if I put it on, you can see my skin pull away. Um, this was a great one if you uh, notice your makeup slips throughout the day, like if you have oily skin. That one would be a big help for you. Um, I really don't have any new foundations. I know it's actually kind of crazy. The one new one that I do have are newer ones that I do actually have. I'm sorry, I take that back. I have two. They are both drugstore. One is Wet n Wild. It is the Photo Focus um, Stick. And the other one is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. Um, I am in fairest of all snow white shade in them. Um, and I like to mix, I like to do my liquid and then I'll put like the stick where I want like additional coverage. So I, that one really has been helping me. Um, now as far as powders, um, the newest one that I have is the Fenty Beauty and I have the lavender one and I use that one under my eyes. And then the other one that I use is I got it as a 100 point perk. It's the Fenty uh, in butter. And I use that one all over my entire face to set my face. So I've really been enjoying those two um, for my face. And then as far as bronzers, here's where the problem comes in. I have so many bronzers. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have four new bronzers, not including palettes. So I have the Kylie Cosmetics um, Tequila Tan bronzer. I have the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker and Shady Biz. The biggest difference in some of these is some are cool tones, some are warm tones, so more um, warming versus cooling or contouring. I have the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow Mini. So this one has a little um, bronzer slash brush and then a little highlighter. Um, this one's nice for traveling because as you can see it's, it's like the length of my pinky so it's really a, a little cute palette and then the other one I have is the cover FX uh, sun-kissed bronze and it is the 
duo matte and shimmer and this one I have been using quite a bit um, to both bronze and a contour if I use one of the other lighter ones so if I want a little more of a natural finish I'll use this one for contour uh, let's see and as far as blushes go you guys would be proud I just have one new blush and um, Kylie Cosmetics was on sale at Ulta so I did get a couple of her products so I did get one of her bronzers or blushes I'm sorry and this one is the shade close to perfect and for me it literally is close to perfect um, it's a really pretty like peachy mauve color that just really really uh, is beautiful on my skin because um, my skin usually it's fair in the winter and then obviously it gets a little darker aka light <laughs> uh, in the summer because thanks to having a bout of skin cancer almost two years ago I no three years ago I have no desire whatsoever to lay out just a tan because once you have one skin cancer is mole removed which that's what this is right here this line you really don't feel like laying out anywhere because it's just not worth it um and then so some a new face palette that I've gotten let's see these are two new face palettes for me yeah I've got two new face palettes so the first one is the Sephora Pro face palette and let me tell you this thing is huge Mongus, and I got it as a birthday gift like the mirror is massive uh, I'm holding it upside down so the mirror doesn't get in the way um, well, I guess I could hold it this way yeah okay that'll work so this bright pink blush really isn't as bright as it looks in the pan it's it's a much more subtle finish but there are two other bronze two other blushes two highlighters a contour um, a bronzer and then this is attributed as kind of like a, a pink highlighter um, truthfully that's probably the only one in this entire palette that I will not use because it is super glittery a lot of fallout and I'm 34 years old I have no reason whatsoever to wear glitter on my face um, and then the other face palette I got is I actually debated about it because I was like do I really need another face palette and then I was like yes yes you do it is the Natasha Denona there we go tan bronze and glow palette um, this is a cute little little guy um, as with a lot of Natasha's products any of the creams have their own little cover on them um, but this one only has one cream so it's the glow cream base here and then you have a super glow which is kind of like a tan um, this one is the glow impact powder and this one is be beautiful and then the bronzer is an actually is it an actual beautiful shade as well so for like I think 45 or 55 dollars I'm definitely happy I got this one um, I really don't have too many other new face palettes I do have two new eye palettes so actually we're almost done with setting powders as well so I have to get the setting powders out um, now, oh, I forgot concealers. I have two concealers. I have the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Powder, and this is the little $10, like, try me size one, and it is in the fairest shade they have, which is Snow. Um, this is super brightening for me now that I'm a little darker for the summer, or light for the summer, um, but I think this winter it will be spot on because I do pale out quite a bit in the summer. And then the other one I got is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice in Fair 10. This one is a roll-up, and I'm actually wearing it today. And this is super duper creamy, um, but I love that one. I've been, that's been my go-to that I've been reaching for quite a bit lately. Now, as far as highlighters, I'm checking everything around me. <laughs> I have three new highlighters. Um, Two of them are Kylie Cosmetics. Where did that one go? Oh, and I have one new palette that is a highlighter. I mean, other than all the highlighters that I've gotten that are face palettes, which obviously those are new as well. Uh, first one I got is Queen Drip. Um, and I love how these are kind of subtle. Like this is more of like a rose gold 
and this is more of like a champagne gold. Now this one is super duper pretty. This is Cheers Darling. Um, this one is one I tend to use quite a bit lately. It has just got such a pretty color and it's so intense and it stays so well. Um, and I know a lot of people have very mixed feelings about uh, the Kardashians and Kylie and whatnot, but I just go for the products and how they work for me and I think they work beautifully for my skin. Um, one that I got is a highlighter trio. It's the Nikki Tutorials. So you have Space Baby, which is kind of like a, as you can see, it's got a blue green shift. You have Glazed Donut, which that was like, I think her first one that she did. And then Glow Goals. I like to mix those two because I feel that, um, in the winter, the middle one, I guess I can reopen it. The middle one here is great for me in the winter, but in the summer, I like to mix these two to give myself a little bit more of a, a darker glow whenever you're a little darker. We have a little more of a tan, which for me, I'm never very tan. Um, and then the last highlighter I have is Lunch Money by ColourPop. Now this is a cream highlighter and it is a super shock highlighter and it's a champagne-y cream color. Now what I like to do with this one is use it on my, my ring finger because your ring finger has the lightest pressure of all of your four of your five fingers. If you have four, then there you go. <laughs> but I like to tap this one where my highlighter is and then I'll go in with another one on top and it's for a very um, super shocking highlighter. Um, let's see, the last thing on my face that I tend to use, um, sorry, I'm trying to think. Um, I use, I have two new setting powders that I use for my face. Um, or kind of finishing powders for the really setting powders. The first one is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice, and this is in shade 50 and Genuine. And so this has kind of like a, a crushed pearl finish to it. You really can't see it much in this in my, my camera. Um, but I love the case. It's got a full-size mirror. And what I really like is it has an included little brush, and then you can just pop the little top, and it's magnetized, and it sticks there, and it goes. Uh, and it goes. I, that's exactly how I sound when I say it. But I love that one. Um, that one I tend to use when I know I'm not going to be outside because it has that pearlized finish. Sometimes it can make me look a little bit oily. But if I set my face really well with like a spray, I have no problems whatsoever. The last one, this one has been on my wish list from Sephora for so long. And I finally got it for myself for my birthday with some money I got. This is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in shade one fair go figure and this is just a really pretty fine fair powder that i use and it is i've used it today and i just like how it makes my skin look it makes it look like skin but set and finished and just beautiful um i haven't gotten very many eyeshadow palettes lately i know it's absolutely shocking for me i'm the eyeshadow palette queen but one I got was from Kylie and this was the half price one so I was like I'm, I'm getting it I've been eyeing this one forever it's the sort of sweet palette and I just like for me it has all the shades that I use on a daily basis and so if I'm traveling somewhere it's a good one to travel because it's not very big and then the last one I got is the shake your palm palms by Too Faced and I love these little itty bitty ones by them um I like the the peach palette I believe it was but this one is I'm trying to see if I can hold it there we go it's got like a greenish color and a purple but it's got some matte powders it's got a real deep color here and some shimmers and some glitters and like the Kylie one it's a great palette set for travel um and then there are two like lip balmy products and then I have a couple of lipstick lip glosses um, and then two mascaras. So I've got a sample of the hourglass one and that one is on my short list to buy. And then I tried the ultimate lashes by Ulta beauty. This one is a great one. If you're looking for a cheaper, um, drugstore brand mascara that is full eyes, whatever. This one is great. Um, so the three lip products I'm going to be talking about, I feel like I've been talking about a lot of Kylie cosmetics, but I've never tried hers. Um, but I got one of her super glosses or high glosses, and this one is in shade Daddy's Girl. But this one's super pretty. I like to wear a lot of these on their own. I got the Fenty Beauty and Fussy. This one is the, like, pinky one. 
this one is super cool and this one has a little bit of a a tingle so but it's not painful like the buxom ones are and then the last one is the artist couture and i believe this one is in yeah sugar baby this one is super pretty this one's super glittery as well so it's great and then the last two uh is by lineage it's the lip sleeping mask and then i have the grapefruit lip glowy balm this one's in the purse this one's by my bed and that's pretty much it. So um, if you guys want to see any of these products um, in action, just let me know down below. But subscribe, like, hit the bell so you can get notified whenever I finally get to post videos. Uh, but you guys have a great day.